Hello folks, my name is Mike Cannon, part of the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Group. And today we're going to do a short video on how to manually check the status of our S8800 Ray battery on system platform. A few things about the S8800 and the Ray battery before we start. First is the S8800 had two Ray controller options for the applications. The first was the MR10i Ray controller, which was the most common, probably about 90% of the applications. It allowed the applications to be set up as RAID 0, 1, 5, or 10. It allowed writing to cache. It required a battery to do this. Some of the applications used the MR10IR Communication Manager, System Manager, and Module Messaging. The second RAID controller option was the BR10i. This allowed the applications to set up as RAID 0 or 1, and it did not allow writing to cache, and there is no battery involved. So what we'll be doing today, we'll be looking at the MR10i. The RAID battery in the MR10i is considered a consumable and has a limited life. Depending on the application, the deprecation of that battery could have an impact on the performance. It could also have an impact on an upgrade. Alarming and System Platform started with System Platform 6.0 Service Pack 3 Patch 6 or the GA load of 6.2. Prior to that, the only way you could see if the battery was good was the way we're going to do it today, manually status it. As you can see, we're logged into the Linux shell of System Platform as admin. We're in Domain 0, which is exactly where we need to be. First thing I always like to do is I want to see what my software version is. So I type in SW version, and I'm at 6.2.0.0.27 which is the GA load for System Platform 6.2, so that's perfect. Next, we're going to have to SU to root because we have to be logged in as root to run the status commands associated with the RAID controller. So SU-root, enter the root password. Next, we're going to run some mega CLI commands that are the same for IBM as they are for Dell. So we entered forward slash opt, forward slash mega raid, forward slash mega CLI, forward slash mega CLI 64, space, dash LD, info, space, dash L all, space, dash A, zero. The second mega CLI 64 indicates the send OS 64-bit operating system. And you can see we get a ton of information about the RAID controller and RAID status. What we're going to focus on, though, is going to be the default cache policy and the current cache policy, because this will give us information about the battery. The default cache policy is write back, and that's really the key thing we care about. That is the Avaya standard write back, and that's what we want to see. The current cache policy should also be write back. In our case, it says write through which tells us or indicates that we may have a bad battery. There could be other reasons why it's in write through mode. So we're going to run one more command to confirm that it's either a bad battery or it's in a learning state or possibly a charging state if it's a replaced battery. So as you can see, the first part is the same. Forward slash opt, forward slash mega raid, forward slash mega CLI, forward slash mega CLI 64, space, dash ADP BBU CMD space dash A0. Next, so we can read it easier, I'm going to put a pipe to more in here so we can read the information clear. So pipe more. And what we're looking at first is the charging status, none. So none is an indication, it'll either say none if it's good or bad, or it'll say Discharging or charging. Discharging if it's in a learning state, charging if the battery is being charged. I look down at the learning cycles and they're not in a learning cycle, so that's good. Next, we're going to look at four things. First thing we're going to look at is going to be the max error. Max error defaults to 2% and that's generally what we'll see. When it's in a charging or discharging state, it'll be in 100%. If you see it and it's in the upper single digits or double digits, generally that means you have an issue with your battery and or ray controller. So that's more an FYI. Next, we want to look at the bottom where we see design capacity. It's 1215 and that's based on the Avaya Avnet firmware. It's tied directly to the remaining and full charge capacity. At 625 today, we'll start sending an alarm saying it's time to look at changing your battery. 
At 585, we'll see it fail. These are in the 400s. This battery needs to be changed. Customer needs to place an order for a new battery, and we need to change the battery. We have successfully gone through the process of statusing the RAID battery. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor.avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. Again, thank you for choosing Avaya.